Hi, this is Dave. I uh, wanted to thank you for watching this training video. Uh, it's about 6.30 in the morning, and I picked this time because it's 74 degrees. Um, just to show you that the, the curve numbers can be done in pretty much, it uh, doesn't have to be 85 or 90 degrees to do them. Um, if you notice, I parked where I can safely do the numbers and not have to worry about getting run over. I know the traffic's going to be coming this way. Um, okay, let's start. First thing, you might want to get one of these, $2 at the garden supply store. I use it to sit on, just a little foam pad. Um, make sure the paint is well shaken when you start. You want to hear, wait until the mixing ball rattles. Um, after your first couple of uh, lists, um, we're going to get you some traffic paint. It's like a striping paint, and you want the kind that comes with a T-tip nozzle. The reason for that is you want to take off the T-tip nozzle and just put on a regular nozzle from, uh, from a can of black, because if you don't, the paint's going to come out too quick. So, and this is sometimes kind of hard to mix. You want, <clears throat> you want to make sure the mixing ball rattles. Sometimes you got to shake it for a minute or so. Sometimes I've had to roll it out in the street uh, to get the mixing ball to mix. And, okay, now getting started. Uh, okay, sorry about that, I had to reposition the camera so we can see this a little bit easier. Now, let's see. Okay, I always like to wear the glove in case anything needs to be brushed off and also so the paint doesn't get on your hand. What you want to do starting out, sometimes you'll come up with a background that's larger than the one that, that you've got. If that's the case, no problem. Just start at one corner, move it to the top left, right, upper right, do four corners like that so your background matches that background. Now you want to get the black on uh, thin but uh, even coat so that way there's no runs in it for when you paint the white. When you start the numbers, You'll notice that the background height is the same height as the stencils. So the way you do it is you want to start the first one about an inch and a half over. This is the number one. And the, to the top and bottom, line up the top of the stencil, top and bottom of the stencil with the top and bottom of the background that you just painted. After you paint the one, you can place the next number as another one. So I just placed the number to the left of the one, which is zero, over the one I just painted and the one will be perfectly positioned. So you can do all the numbers in sequence like that. For example, if you had to paint a five over here, you come to the number just before it, and you place your four over that number, and the five will be lined up. And when you do the glass beads, I always use the small holes in the glass bead so it doesn't come out too quick. And you don't want to hold it real far up from the curb, otherwise they're going to fall too fast, and you're going to get little black specks coming through. Uh, because the white's not dry yet. So, let's see if we can't do this here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start my stopwatch now. Notice I'm holding the black upright and white, you know, since it is a traffic thing, it needs to be sprayed actually upside down and in one of the striping machines. But I'm going to, instead of upside down, I'm just going to kind of hold it at an angle like this. If you try to spray this straight up, it's going to end up more air coming out than paint. And going to get clogged up real quick. Nope. Now if you make a mistake, you can go ahead and stop it. A minute and four seconds. If you make a mistake, you can use the stencil. It's the easiest thing to do. Just use the stencil and, you know, spray some black and if that doesn't work, you may have to go back through and the number again.
Good luck to you. Back again, one thing I forgot to mention how to put the, all the stuff back when you get done. What you want to do is you want to take the uh, back of the zero and back of the nine, just fold them back to back like that. That way you won't get paint. So that way there's no paint anywhere in here. If you try to fold them up like this, you're going to get paint on the back from the front side of that. Just fold them back to back. You'll see there's a little loop created. That's where we're going to, that's where we're going to put our paint. So you just put them in like that. Hope you can see that. Paint goes in there. Uh, some glass beads. And we can just put this stuff right in there. Alright, and that should hopefully do it. If I've left anything out, I'll let you know later. Thank you. Okay, one thing I just discovered I left out was the, after looking at the tape, was the glass beads. You know, I'd leave out something, but fortunately it was just one thing. So what I'm going to do is just pretend I've painted the background. I'm going to start from painting the numbers again because these are dry. The beads aren't going to stick to them unless they're wet. And uh, I'm going to start from there and just go ahead and apply the glass beads. So... seconds so I had another 10 seconds figure about a minute 14 seconds and that's it um, you notice I waited until the stencils were completely removed before I put the glass beads on um, I don't want to in other words I don't want to paint the number while it's I'm holding it there put the glass beads on because it'll stick to the surface and uh, cleanup is going to be a big problem the stencils are going to get thick a lot faster and uh, reminds me of another point cleanup on these things <clears throat> um, it's best if you can to wait overnight and then the next day you can just pick the paint off. Let me see if I've got a thick one. The thicker the better. You just kind of pick it off like this and as you're holding the stencil, you know, just pick from the edges like that. And if the paint's kind of gooey, you might want to try stick it in the freezer for five or ten minutes and that ought to help. Another thing that helps is before you start painting again, you want to spray it with a a thin coat of black for some reason if it's got black on it then the white doesn't you know the white will come off easier the next time you clean it that's pretty much it uh, and good luck to you <laughs>